Hi guys and welcome back to another collection close-up. Today we have the beautiful Hollywood gown as part of our 2020 collection. This gown was really inspired by old Hollywood, so gowns from the 1950s, lots of feathers and over-the-top styling, um, but still looking glamorous and classy. So this gown, let's get right into it and talk about the details. The first thing that I'll say is designing this gown was quite, quite easy. So with a lot of designs, like the last episode you saw, I did, you know, dozens and dozens of designs of that gown before I finalized on that design. This gown was the complete opposite. I nearly nailed it the first time round. Um, and I just basically had to figure out the fabric. So the fabric was more problematic than the design itself. This gown is pretty much totally made of mesh so it's made of a really lightweight tulle um, throughout the entire dress in an ivory color this is what you see here at the top you can barely see that on screen and then i designed this so that there's no seam along the neckline normally we have to do a seam to be able to hug the body correctly but because i'm only really having this at the top and not throughout the body i can really get away with having this as one piece so that's something that i talked to my pattern maker about to make sure that we can design it in a one piece format this gown has a few layers uh, but it doesn't have a lot of structure and I did that deliberately because a lot of my gowns in my studio have a lot of structure but the trend at the moment is to have less structure and have a more comfortable relaxed wedding dress so this is kind of um, the style that I was going for here in some ways so within the body area there are no cups in here and there is no boning there is no padding and there's no bra strap and that that's because it's sheer and if I put a bra strap in this you'd be able to see it um, so this is basically to be worn with nude underwear as close to your skin color as possible or even some boob stickers and you know that sort of it now we can put padding in this we can put a more covered lining so it doesn't have to be sheer but this sort of shows you how it can look as you guys know, I design and make wedding dresses every single day. Um, I custom make wedding dresses. So what that means is that what you see on the rack isn't necessarily what we make for you. They're just to show you examples and different styles and what can be achieved and how certain fabrics look and fall. But it doesn't necessarily mean that your gown will be like that. So my business is very different to a boutique in the way that you basically walk in, the changes are very, very minimal. You basically order that gown in your size and they do alterations for you. That's not how I work at all. So I basically sketch and custom a gown to each individual client and we spec it from top to bottom um, once the client approves their design then it goes into production so when you're seeing a dress like this even though this gown doesn't have structure if you wanted this gown with structure that can be achieved if you wanted this gown with um, without it being sheer along the body and in the skirt then we'd um, do a lining for you in an opaque fabric so keep that in mind when I'm going through all these details. It just means that's what the details of this dress is. It doesn't mean you know you have to have that um, those elements. Okay, so like I mentioned, there's no um, structure in the body, so it's going to be a very soft, falling, comfortable gown to wear. I've put a quite a few layers here. So underneath this outer layer of the the lace, we've got like a sequent sheer sequent layer underneath this. Now I have about three versions of sequent layers that I put underneath dresses. Most of the ones that you've seen is called a rain fabric, which is a very light sequent fabric with quite a lot of gap. So it gives a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. This one I wanted to be heavily, heavily sparkly. So I chose a much heavier sequent layer. You'll get a good look at this up close, but I've done this pretty much from the bust, top of the bust, down to the floor. And that gives the dress a little bit more coverage as well, so it's not completely nude like it is up here. On top of that sequent layer, I've put this gorgeous beaded lace fabric. 
Now I'm a lover of laces that aren't too floral. Even though I have a lot of floral laces in my studio to choose from, I personally am not a real flowery type of girl. So I like things that are a little bit more edgy. I like things that don't really have a lot of flowers or bows, but it's got detail. And this is basically a whole bunch of leaves. That's the sort of style of this lace. And all of the leaves, nearly all of them are beaded. So you'll be able to see that so gorgeous gorgeous detailing I've covered this stomach area because that's usually a problem area for a lot of brides but I've covered that I've sort of eased it around and then I've sort of scooped it around the bust so um, to enhance that bust area now obviously on a gown this fitted um, I'm not able to do pockets because they'll be too bulky and they'll be too noticeable but we have added these gorgeous feather sleeves so these are actually detachable so that when you want to watch, wash the gown, you can just remove these feathers because the feathers don't do well in the wash. And then you can wash the rest of the gown or if you're dry cleaning, they can do the same thing. They can take this off and dry clean the rest. Now this gorgeous feather detail is also put along the base of the the gown in the hem and in the bottom area but I've chosen ostrich feathers for the skirt area because it's lighter um, I found that if I use this even though it's giving beautiful volume up the top I didn't want that amount of volume down the bottom because I didn't want her to look like a snow bunny I wanted her to still look really light and glamorous basically so I've just kept it a little bit lighter in the skirt and I've just put it in parts um, and I've used a different feather a much lighter soft a feather than up here. Up here is like a, a goose feather, you know, it's quite quite a heavy feather. The skirt is basically designed with this lace uh, placed all around the skirt bleeding up with this middle section kept sheer. Now if we're customizing this design to you then you can cover as much as you want or as less as you want. It's basically up to up to you and how we design it. We've also got a beautiful lace trim along the hem in the matching lace. Okay, so the back is absolutely beautiful. We have gone with a really sheer, plain back along the sides here. And remember, there's no side seams or shoulder seams, just to make that really seamless. The back buttons, we've gone with these crystal, um, silver crystal buttons. So these ones are a little bit different to the round ones that I've shown in my last video. These are a more flatter style and they are uh, like a flower shape. And I thought that was sort of in keeping with the sort of old Hollywood theme. Absolutely gorgeous, just for that extra bling. The same, it's on these elastic loops just to hold them together. And then throughout the body here, I've got the zipper. So it's just an invisible zipper that holds the dress in place. We've done the same thing. We sort of bled the lace up a little bit so it just goes over onto the skin. And then we've bled it down, focusing sort of around the bum area to enhance that area a little bit more. This is a real fitted dress around the hips and the thighs. And it just sort of falls after that with a bit more volume down the bottom. I will be showing you photos now of what the dress looks like on a model and how gorgeous it can actually look and how fitted it can be. Really, really comfortable dress because it's pretty much stretch. The whole thing is made of a stretch fabric, so it's gonna be really comfortable to wear. It's just not gonna be suitable, this exact style, to someone who is wanting a lot of structure um, in their bodice area. Like if they're quite busty and they need support in the bust, this isn't gonna do it. However, we can build a bra into a dress like this. The skirt is absolutely gorgeous. We have used the same lace throughout it's a beautiful beaded lace that is super luxurious and I have added the feathers just to give it that wow factor I've bled the lace up the skirt as well just to connect the top and the bottom and that gorgeous trim again and that's about a 50 centimeter train so not a really long train guys but sometimes you don't need a long train to make it dramatic I was also considering weight and I was considering how delicate and soft this dress is, the design, that I didn't want something really long and heavy that's going to be weighing the dress down in weight and, you know, physically weighing the dress down when you're looking at it. So that's, those are things I'm considering as well. Remember that the lace that I've used here is fully beaded, so it's a real heavy lace. 
So you've got to be careful when you're using a beaded lace like this that if the top is really sheer, you know, where is the support? You know, in this dress, I don't have any support in the bust. Um, I don't have a bra strap in here. So the whole dress is being weighed by a couple of mesh panels up the top, you know, which is really, really delicate. So that's why I've opted for a little bit of a shorter train on this dress. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video and what did you think of the Hollywood gown? The, the gown for our 2020 collection. If you can leave me a comment below, I would love to hear your thoughts. Would you wear a dress this year? Would you wear it if it had a bra construction? Would you wear feathers? You know, these are questions that I would love answered. So I'd love your opinion on that. Um, if you haven't already, give me a like if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do videos like this all the time on fashion and vlogs and wedding dresses. So I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.